Here it is all designed in accordance with API RP2A and API RP2L. Layout of the heli deck also be sufficient for one helicopter. One stand for primary access and a ladder for secondary access or record. Safety netting should surround the heli deck completely at a minimum width of uh, 1500 mm. Paint marking sizes and colors are in accordance with API RP2L. The heli deck may have a separate platform as shown in this figure one and may be connected with the main platform by a bridge. You could see this heli deck as a separate platform. It is maybe connected with the main platform by bridges and one stand for the primary access and one ladder for the secondary access or care. This safety net is 1.5 meter minimum width. Paint markings and all colors in current APRP 12. The helicopter landing area should be clear without any obstacle and for obstacles below the landing area there are some limits from cap 437 as shown in this uh, figure. Helicopter landing area should be clear without any obstacle and for obstacles below the landing area you see this is the landing area right below the landing area no obstacles between these lines no obstacles between these lines and no obstacle between these lines 180 degree sector within 210 degree in plan there are no sector obstacles above this line limits of three obstacles below landing area level it's one in five slope so these limits are given in the cap 437 According to CAP 437, the following dimensions should be considered. The safety net's main function is for personal protection. Therefore, the safety net is usually installed around the landing area, except where adequate structural protection against faults exists. The netting should be flexible, user should be flexible and should be manufactured from the non-inflammable non material with the inboard edge fastened level width and just below the edge of the helicopter landing deck. The net itself should extend 1.5 meter in the horizontal plane so that it has an upward and outward slope of at least 10 degree. Standard dimensions for safety nets are given in this uh, table. You could see here, these are the standard dimensions of this uh, safety net. Here the D value of this the type helicopter weights, dimensions, D value and different types as per cap port 37 is given. And landing minimum size for Augusta A139 for example, if you take the D value is 13.05 and perimeter marking, D marking is 13 and max weight is 2.6 tons. T value will be 2.6 tons and landing net size will be small and landing minimum size will be 9 meter by 99 one example the same way for bell 214 st all these things are the helicopter weights dimensions d value for different types of uh, as per cap 4 that is on its given the net should be strong enough to withstand and contain without damage a 100 kg weight being dropped from a height of 1 meter According to APRP 12, a safety net designed to meet this criteria should act as a should not act as a trampoline giving a bounce effect. It should not act as a trampoline giving a bounce effect where lateral longitudinal center boards are provided to strengthen the net structure. They should be arranged and constructed to avoid causing serious injury to the persons falling on them. Right. The ideal design has a hammock effect. Which should securely contain a body falling, rolling, or jumping into it without a serious injury when considering the securing of the net to the structure and the materials used. Care should be taken that each segment will meet adequacy of the purpose considerations. Polypropylene deteriorates over time. Various wire meshes have been sewn in 
to be suitable if properly installed. For headache markings, color of the headaches should be dark green or gray as shown in this figure. Also that figure. In addition, the perimeter should be clearly marked with a white painted line 300 m wide. This figure represents the dimensions of the yellow circle with hutch marking on the headache. Here you could see here, this is the platform name, text, height, all helidic surface green, unless otherwise not sure. This is the yellow circle and D value is shown here, 600 mm, perimeter line white with 300 mm thickness and black chevron working 300 mm to 790 mm 1 meter 1 meter either side apart headache marking specifications on diamonds also given this figure this is the platform name and text white and height of 1.2 meter d values are also shown here this is the yellow that's a circle of 100 mm wide this aprp 2l gives the requirements a safety net designed to meet these criteria so not to act as a trampoline it should not have as a bouncing effect it should have like a hammock effect that should secure mainly carrying body falling or rolling or jumping at weight without any serious injury the lighter hatch on the heli deck has standard dimensions so on this figure and it is painted white figure 4 presents the obstacle limitation in the headache plan view based on cap 437 headache netting dimension depends on the landing net size which in turn depends on the helicopter type d value and maximum weight so helidic netting dimensions also depends on the landing net size which in turn depends on the helicopter type and D value and maximum weight. Obstacle limitation in the headache plan view. The letter H on the headache has a standard dimension. Here you could see this is standard dimension. This figure what we have shown. It's an obstacle free sector. 210 degree that's an obstacle free sector. And 150 degrees are limited obst obstacle sector free obstacle sector it's a d values the, the d value you could see that point one two times d the next this is the point one times d one one is two ratio it's an obstacle limitation for a single main rotor as well camp 437 this figure five presents the configuration of the safety net the helicopter should be tied to the helidex and this tie on points should be located and be of such strength and construction to secure the helicopter when subject to weather conditions pertinent to the installation design considerations. This 1.5 meter main configuration of the traditional safety net. This 1.5 meter and this main configuration of the traditional safety net configuration of safety net right helicopter should be tied on to the heli deck tied on point should be located and be of such strength and construction to secure the helicopter when subjected to weather conditions pertaining to installation design considerations tied on ring should match the tied on strap attachments the maximum bore diameter of tied on ring should be 22 mm in order to match the strap hook dimensions of the tied down strap in most helicopters otherwise on the recommended safe working load should be obtained from the helicopter operator the figure 6 presents a suitable tied on configuration Note that the outer circle is not required if the D value is less than 22.2 meter. The centers of all circles coincide with the center of the marking circle. 
that was only the fair to right here you could see this the radius on 2.5 meter 5 meter and sound meter sound meter 2.5 meter 5 meter that's a suitable tied on configuration this auto circle is not required if the d value is less than 22.2 meter Sizes of all the circles coincide with the center of the circle, right? Tied on rings would be 22 mm in order to match the strap hook dimensions of the tied on 